He's a convicted felon who shot and killed his own daughter. Now Timothy Batts has cut a deal with prosecutors, and tonight we know the judge signed off on it. So how much time will he serve for the accidental death of his 11-year-old daughter? As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us in this exclusive story, the answer might surprise you. The Tennessee Criminal Justice Handbook, it spells out the crimes and the punishments. We know Timothy Batts has already been convicted of one D felony and now reaching a plea deal on another. The question is, how much time is he going to do? I just want to just kill myself and just be done with life. At trial, Batts told the jury he wanted to punish himself after realizing he accidentally shot his 11-year-old daughter, Tamia. She jumped out from the side of the wall and say, wow, and you know, as if to scare me and the gun was in my hand and it just went off. And now, a secretive plea deal will ultimately spell out Bat's punishment. The jury found him guilty in July of felon in possession of a gun, but they hung on the charge of reckless homicide. The district attorney planned to try him again, but then reached a plea deal with Bat's. Maybe an effective sentence of four years or three years, and obviously he gets his jail credit, so um, you know he would be eligible for parole pretty soon. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says Bat's faces two to four years for the felon with a gun conviction. If he were convicted of reckless homicide in his second trial, that too would also bring two to four years. Leonardo says the shooting was reckless or negligent, but it was also an accident. Uh, those kinds of crimes don't carry significant amounts of jail time. So a typical sentence could run between three and five years. Batts already has one year behind bars credit, and he could be eligible for parole after 30 percent served. Attorneys on both sides have already met in closed chambers with the judge, and the details of this plea deal have been agreed to. What those details are, we'll find out Friday. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. As with all plea deals, things can change up to the last minute. If not, Sumner County Judge D. David Gay is expected to sign off on that deal Friday.